Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a square minus b square and express this as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. That this here, what we have becomes x plus y into bracket, open bracket x minus y then equals to 65 on this side then here x and y is a member of positive integer and this implies that this first bracket which is x plus y is expected to be greater than the second one which is x minus y then let's see the possible case we can have here for 65. That can be written as 65 times 1. So the factors. Or we can have 1 times 65. Or we can have it as 13 times 5. Or we can have it as 5 times 13. That is from here. Since the first number should be greater than the second one, this will satisfy this condition. Why this will not satisfy? Also, this will satisfy and this will not satisfy. So, we have two cases here. Consider the first case. That is case 1, which is 65 times 1. Then, this equation here, that is x plus y times x minus y cannot be expressed as 65 times 1. That is the first bracket here, which is x plus y is equal to 65. And the second bracket x minus y is equal to 1. Then when we solve these two equations simultaneously, we can have this to eliminate y. That is x plus x, that's 2x equals to 65 plus 1, that's 66. And here, we divide both sides by 2, divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. Yeah, 2 cancelled each other. Then we have x equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. That is x equals to 33. Yeah? Also, we can solve for y from the second equation here. That is x minus y equals to 1, which implies x now is 33, that's 33 minus y equals to 1. Then rearrange by taking minus y to the right, taking 1 to the left, and we have 33 minus 1, then equals to y now. That is 32 here equals to y, also y equals to 32. So from here, y is equal to 32. And this first set of solution x1, comma y1, is now same thing as 33, comma 32. So this year, we have the first set of solution. Now let's consider also the second case from here. So we look at the case two. That is thirteen times five. It implies the equation here we have becomes x plus y into bracket, then open bracket x minus y equals to thirteen times five which implies the first bracket here is equals to 13 and we have x plus y equals to 13 and the second bracket here which is x minus y equals to 5. Also we solve these two equations simultaneously. We eliminate y by adding. That is here we have x plus x that's 2x then equals to 13 plus 5 that's 18 and divide both sides by 2 here. Yeah? That is, divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2, 2 cancel each other. This gives us x equals to 18 over 2, that's 9. 
So we have x equals to 9 here. Also, we get the value of y using the second equation, which is x minus y equals to 5. That this x, that's 9 minus y equals to 5. I'm taking 5 here, become minus. Taking minus y here, become plus. We have 9 minus 5 now equals to y, which is 4 equals to y. That is, y is equals to 4. Then the second set of solution, x2 comma y2 also equals to 9 comma 4. That is, here in this problem, we have these two sets of solutions as a possible solution of positive integers. Then we can check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, here, we substitute the value of x and y to this equation. For the first solution, this equation becomes 33 squared, then minus y squared, which is 32 squared. Is it equals to 65 on this side? That is 33 square. We have 33 times 33, which is 3 times 3 and 9 times 3 9. So 3 times 3 9 and 9. So we had this. And here we have 9. Here we have 8. Then, then here that's 1089 and minus. Also, 32 square, we have 32 times 32, which becomes here yeah, we have 4, 6, also 6, 9. This one we had as well, we have 4, 2, then 1, 0 here. Yeah. That means we have 1024. Then is it equal to 65? When we subtract here, we have 1024. Subtract from 1089. This is 5. This is 6. This is 0, 0. So this is 65 here, which is equals to 65 here. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then the first solution here satisfy this given problem. Also, check for the second solution, which is 9, comma 4. That is here x squared that's 9 squared minus 4 square this is equal to 65 on this side and 9 square 9 times 9 that gives us 81 minus 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 this is equal to 65 here and of course 81 minus 16 that's 65 which is equal to 65 on this side left hand side also equals to the right hand side and therefore we have 9,4 also satisfying this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.